This weekend marks the unofficial end of the summer season. That means many of you starting to look ahead to the fall. News 8's Brian Spiros tells us about a family fun, fall-like activity that raises money for a good cause. Look, Quinn. There's still, there's still a piece of corn on this one way up here. It's become a fall tradition for many people here in Connecticut. Getting lost in a corn maze. I've done a couple. Uh, they're all different. They're some are challenging, some are not. One. Today, the corn maze at Lyman Orchards in Middlefield officially opened for business, but the planning for it all started months ago. We plant in the spring, usually around Memorial Day, and then uh, about four weeks later, when the corn's really only about a foot tall, we'll do the cutting. This year's theme dates back to the 1960s, the British invasion in America. The faces of all four beetles are carved into the corn, but the maze is more than twists and turns. There's also trivia and information along the way. So I think it really appeals to the whole family. We see grandparents out with their grandkids. We see young families. Uh, it's really, it's a mix and people love it. The enjoyment is finding a corner that doesn't work and trying again. You guys are halfway done. Great job. Oh, this maze is also benefiting a good cause. A portion of each ticket sold will go to the American Cancer Society. We chose the American Cancer Society because I've lost uh, family members to cancer and, and so many of our employees the same thing. So it's a, you know, it just, it just seemed like the right thing to do. So it funds those uh, necessary programs and services that cancer patients use here in Connecticut and across the country. And since the May started back in 2000, it has raised more than $433,000 for the American Cancer Society. And speaking of the maze, if you want to come out and have fun, it's open until November 2nd. Now I need to try to figure out how to get out of here. I'll figure this out eventually. Reporting from Middlefield, Brian Spiros, News 8.